past few months, we've been bringing you stories about people who live in unusual houses, people who have the vision and determination to design and renovate a property that they really want to live in. And Gay and Peter Houghton are one such couple. They've turned a Martello Tower into their dream home. It's hard to believe that this Martello Tower in Belvelli, County Cork, was just last year a derelict building. With trees growing inside, rubble covering the ground floor from an explosion 50 years ago, and the roof had absorbed 10,000 gallons of water. Now it's the beautiful home of Peter and Gay Houghton, who have worked tirelessly to achieve their dream of renovating this historical building into their magnificent home. Upstairs section had officers quarters around this fireplace uh, and I think the mess was here and there was another fireplace where the kitchen cooker is. Peter and myself purchased the Martello Tower in 1998 and we started the, uh, I suppose, the clearance of the rubble and debris in 2005 and in February this year we started the serious work on both the garden and in the interior of the tower and we completed it in July and we've just been working on the really on the, the finishing out over the last eight weeks. The renovation itself started with the ground. The grounds had been used for I'd say uh, no, at least 60 years as a sort of unofficial dump. The land had never been a garden before, so we had to create gardens. Um, so the actual landscaping side was a major part of the operation. The garden is really my forte, and he does give me pretty well uh, a free hand in deciding what to do with the garden, even though we do consult on the layout of the garden. But I've enjoyed tremendously, if you like, clearing a dump and creating the garden we have today with Peter's blessing and his financing of it. We, we started it about 18 months ago, but unfortunately we had uh, sort of planning, some planning uh, problems, um, mainly because I think conservationists were afraid we were going to change the architectural style or do something inappropriate. Now the walls are, are nine foot thick and the roof at the apex is seven foot thick and at the uh, end of the arch is 14 foot thick. So there's a seven foot, uh, if you like, difference creating the dome. The actual workable living space in the tower is 750 square foot floor, which isn't huge, it's only 1,500 square foot, which is a, a relatively small house. We decided uh, to create a, a, an open plan living room, dining room, kitchen on the, the first floor, the entrance floor, uh, and create bedrooms, bathrooms, uh, and a study on the ground floor. The Martello Towers were built in sort of from 1814 through to 1820, and they were built by the British uh, as a defensive system against the possibility of Napoleon invading. Uh, and by the time they were built, Napoleon had been defeated, uh, so were never operationally used, if you like. I enjoyed planning, say, the colour schemes um, and I suppose unlike a lot of people maybe, I had already chosen the fabric, say, for the dining room chairs three years ago and I had decided which chair, I had a, a chart of the tower, I had a, a drawing of the tower and I had put the furniture in place on it and I was putting in what colour lampshades and which pictures would hang where. So I had a fairly good idea in my mind's eye what this was going to look like before we ever completed it. So it now feels homely. Um, I think it's, uh, we feel it's an achievement. Um, and we certainly love living here. 
uh, and it's, it's nice to be on Greater Round, which is a, a, a lovely place to be. Well, it certainly looks like a very interesting place to live.